Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. All right, guys, we're here with Eric Pratt of GOA. Eric, what's up, man? Good to see you. It is good to see you, man. Good to see you as well, man. And all the team, uh, all the teams over here. You know, we have Stephen Wolford over there. We got Ben's over here. John's over there. <laughs> yeah, check out. Ben's way back over here. You got to come up here, Ben, so that people can see you. But anyway, I figured, oh, here we go. <laughs> ben is doing a good job with the videos. <laughs> yes, I'm he telling is. You. He's really Check good. Check out Minute Man Moment. Yes, he's really, really good with that. Yeah. Hey, uh, stay to the circuit. Yeah. And also lawn ammo. And the yeah. Party, all the DOA. All right. Yeah. All the competition now is coming out of the woodworks of who does what. But, you know, Eric, the whole team, you guys are working really hard. Uh, there's some cool victories that yes. you gained, you know. Um, do you want to give the folks a little address on what's going on right sure. now? Sure. Uh, yeah. Well, just real quickly then, uh, great victory recently in the courts where uh, the ATF rule to the engaged in the business rule, mm -hmm. if you wanted to sell a gun privately, mm -hmm. you are going to have to become a gun dealer. That is crazy. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. It's, this is all about registration, just yeah. Biden right rules right anyway mm -hmm. we got a preliminary injunction against that Good. in the court so mm -hmm. the judge only limited it to GOA members and residents of five states including Texas mm -hmm. uh, we're fighting for more than that we, we want this for all gun owners yeah. so that's still being litigated yeah uh, that's a great victory in the courts uh, we have some more that are coming up in the Congress we worked with some congressmen to get in the budget a let me tell you, this last budget that got passed, mm -hmm. even signed by the president, only two agencies were cut. ATF was one of them. Oh, sweet. $122 <laughs> million. Dollars. Nice. Anti-gun Senator Dick Durbin was wailing, oh, this is going to keep them from enforcing gun control. Mm -hmm. We were like, yes, that's exactly. the point. That's the, yeah, that's the point. Yeah. So awesome. anyway, work. yeah, so there's some exciting things happening. And by the way, we also got language put in which requires them to speed up the process on approving suppressors. So yeah. It's not like they get cut and then they, yeah. you know, and like, that, oh, and a little bit of that, that is going on. Like, surprisingly, yes. there's a speed up yes. in that. Yes, yeah. yeah. I've yeah. seen some interesting things on why that's happening, but it's good to, like, lock that in. Absolutely. It's very, very important because they could always, what's happening now, they could always flip it around right. and not do that. So, right. um, how, let me ask you this before we get it because I really want to talk to you about goals. Sure. The event you have going on. Um, so, recently, the, like, the Supreme Court made this uh, Chevron yes. um, uh, how, how would I put it like uh, basically a ruling yep. in, in regards to Chevron now it's not specifically about guns no. but will that you think affect the second amendment and how so so yes and no Okay. Uh, and without getting really nerdy about the case basically mm. the, what the Supreme Court has said is that federal agencies cannot go beyond the law and that's really what Chevron deference was where agencies were writing these expansive rules and they were being given deference, where right. judges would defer to them, and yeah. the Supreme Court now has said, no way, you can't do that. So, how will okay. it affect uh, Second Amendment? In, in theory, yes, that obviously mm -hmm. protects us. Yeah. The reason I say, eh, ATF had already started, they saw the handwriting on the wall, they okay. knew they knew that was coming. The Supreme Court had already indicated that's where they were going to go, okay. so in some of our cases, like the bump stock case mm -hmm. and the pistol brace case, ATF was saying we're not claiming Chevron deference. So yeah. they had already started yeah. back. And what's yeah. ironic is they still were losing these cases, right? right? Yeah. But uh, so anyway, all that to say, it, yes, it absolutely helps in the future because flip it around. Let's say the Supreme Court had gone against us mm -hmm. and said these agencies yeah. still have yeah. deference. Oh, man, that would have yeah. been the worst. You know, yeah. ATF would now be on a roll again. Yeah, yeah, they'll so, yes, hit us with it, everything. It absolutely helps. Okay, awesome, awesome. So that's just something to look forward to. You got to take the little victories, you know. Yep. And the one thing that we have to remember, though, which I'm sure you know, every time we win something, every time we gain something, 
that we lose, you know, or or not we don't not that we lose necessarily, but these guys kind of like redo the game, right? Or switch in another direction. So you have to still keep fighting. Always so. keep fighting. Yeah, and I know that's um, for for you and any of the organizations that are out there fighting for the Second Amendment. That's probably the toughest part of this, right? To keep people engaged and realizing like this takes a lot of effort, a lot of resources, etc. And is, I'm assuming that's one of the reasons why you guys decided to do goals and have your own yes. events. You know, Ben Franklin said, we've given you a republic if you can keep mm -hmm. it. And, mm -hmm. you know, by nature, we just kind of want to be left alone. But, yeah. I, you know, I'm sure your viewers know the anti-gun left doesn't want to leave us alone. They want to control every aspect of our lives. And so yeah. this goals convention, listen, our members have for years been begging us to do a national convention. I know, this, I've made a lot of noise. <laughs> <laughs> so, brother, this is the yeah. first one. Uh, it's going to be in Knoxville, August 17th and 18th. If you are a GOA member, it is free for you. So awesome. just get yourself there. There's stuff for the entire family. A lot of the people you see around here, influencers, mm -hmm. gun industry, they're going to be there. This is going to be Christmas in August. Yeah, folks. I'm looking forward to this. So yeah, so we're really excited about this. So again, free for GOA members. Go to our website at mm -hmm. gunowners.org slash goals, and that's where you can register. Yeah, if you're not a GOA member, you should sign up. Lola and I are lifetime members. Thank you, bro. It's well worth it. You guys do a lot of hard work. Thank you. Um, you don't, uh, you know, you don't waste that money at all. You know, I've really been watching you guys to see what you do, and I appreciate that. Absolutely. Right. You know, so I think it's it's worthy of you guys uh, investing in GOA and and other organizations that are out there. I'm not trying to knock sure. anyone because it takes everyone to really to uh, do this fight. So I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. If people want to know more. Or like, where would they go, or who would they talk to to find out that info? So, well, gunowners.org, mm -hmm. uh, that's, uh, your you know, you can drop uh, a message there, uh, contact us. I mean, we have contact, uh, you know, phone number uh, on the website, too, if you want, mm -hmm. if you just rather talk to a person, that, yeah. that's great, too. Uh, but gunowners.org uh, is the main site, and then just add a forward slash goals, and that'll take you right to the goals site. Yeah, you can check it out. so G-O-A-L-S. <laughs> Right? Yes, G-O-A-L-S, that's right. Yeah, it's funny how that works out. <laughs> All right, thanks so much, Eric. Thank you, man. I'm going to end the show. Thank thanks. you so much for what you do, man, and for working so hard. And, and thank you, everyone Hank, for at keeping everybody informed. You're welcome, He's man. doing great work. I, I'm doing my part, and so are lots of other folks out there. And, like, I appreciate those guys as well as I appreciate you all. All right, so that's it for this. Uh, it was awesome hanging out here with everyone. I'll see you guys on the next one. We're out. Peace. Take care.